Hi, everybody. This is Philip Brown, CPA. Welcome to the class number eight. We're teaching you how to do the tax return. Uh, we are using the JTAC software. All the information is provided by JTAC software. And also, all the numbers are make up, all the information are make up. There's no piece of information, it's real client information. So, I am going to share my screen. So now, Victoria, would you, would you be able to see my screen clear and big enough? Yes, yes. Okay, that's good. So this scenario, number A, uh, please, maybe I enlarge you a little bit more to this time. Okay, that's good. That's good. But it's, it's good to be... Where? In the middle, let me highlight it. So this scenario, here's what we're going to So. Okay. In this scenario, you will practice entering the fall of Social Security income, retirement income reported on 1099-R, number 121 sale of home. Okay. Uh, that That is the section. It's an internal. Section. Yeah. Internal revenue code section 121, sale of sale home. Okay. Now, uh, this is primary home. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in this practice exam, da, 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 da. okay, this to know, I would like to, uh, Victoria to read it one more time in here, up to here. Brom, Brahman and Lothan Element have been married for 45 years. They both retired at age 69 and received social security benefits. Brahman also received retirement income. The taxpayer are both US citizens. Neither is the qualifying ch child or dependent of another. What? I think it's iodine. Iodine is legally blind. They had no interest in or authority over any foreign accounts and did not use virtual currency. Okay, that's good. So now, they have been married for 45 years, okay? So I still have a long way to go. Yes. I mean, I only have been married for 30 years. Okay, now. Now, um, in here, we are learning something. When they retire, they're getting Social Security, okay? So now let's go first thing first. Let's smooth down. Those are their personal information. We are not going to read it. Okay? And then go down here to talk about their Social Security. And then the social security, it comes to SSA 1099, okay? And then um, I already have two of them. They both have it. And then besides the social security, they have their own retirement. It's on the top right here. And then what else we have? Well, they sold the primary restaurant. I guess they retire. They want to move to a small houses. Okay, and also uh, get into the more convenient places to live for retirement. Okay, now um, let's go to here. This taxpayer, I copy this information. I'm going to split the. Screen. Okay. I'm going to go back here. Okay, that's good. Oh, let's get this. Now, who's been first? I open. I could paste. So I have that in 2022. That's why I can able to have it. Otherwise, I have to input it. So now, here's the information. The green color is the software say, hey, please double check it. 
Let's double check it. The first one's right. It's so so. It's also right in here. He has N six zero zero eight. He has A zero zero six. Funny on. Okay, the birthday. Okay. He was a teacher. So he was a teacher. I was a math teacher before. Okay. The home address A5001. I was changed to State of California. A5001. So it's the other song. That's the ID. Mm, I believe the ID was like one, two, three, four, five, seven. It's not common that issue, and it's okay to have a same issue there because they, they went to the same, went to the DMV like State of California, get it, same day. The expired day for State of California is your birthday. Unless their birthday is the same. But, well, also different state differently. Normally, when you see they are the same, maybe a mistake. But in this situation, it's not. They are, they are the same. Okay, in here. So they do both have health insurance. Right here. The IS no longer have a penalty for somebody who don't have health insurance. They used to have it. So they don't have foreign account. They also doesn't have a digital asset. So those are my firm information. According to the example in here, in 2021, uh, 2022, they do not have federal tax as well as the state tax. That's what they zero. But if you pick up this new client, you have to look it for their 2022 tax return, looking for the total tax, like Lite 24. This is important because they will figure out the penalty of estimate tax. So we finish tab number one. Um, they are retired. So if they have kids, they could normally they grow up so in this example, there's no kid. So two, four, two, three, four, five are not applicable. And as well as they do not pay estimate tax, they don't have kids, the child tax. So now they don't have W2 as well because they retire already. It's good to be retired, isn't it? Right? Now, what they got, they got three sources of income, two kind and three sources, right? One con is W2, and each one of them have one. Right here. We take care of this one later. Okay, the WR. Okay. So this is Social Security. Mm, now, when you look at the information, and you have to know this, who is taxpayer? So, well, we go back to the right side. The first person on the top. There's a tab under like J2023 to 2023 data entry 
is a so so of the first person is that for last and first last comma and first see the way it is last name comma and first name. but it is it's just like first name last name and the, on between there's no comma both are correct okay in here so you, you can see they purposely give the spouse information first. Do you see it? Right here. Here's the spouse. So you can come here. S. S is for spouse. So all you need to do is input two places. Box 5. 43. 524. Pretty good, actually. They have forty three thousand. But now, this is Arizona. That should be okay. So, and here, they are withholding five k from uh, for the federal tax. They did not tell us any state tax reporting in here. Now, RS is in, in somewhere. From here, you can close and go to the other one, or you can symbol paste up or paste down. So when you hit paste down, you hit you have to hit twice. You hit twice is paste down. Okay. So now by doing this way, what you are gonna get into is the taxpayer. Taxpayer is like here. Wow, they happen to have the same. Social security number, uh, mm -hmm. amount in this example, it's not often, it's not often, uh, it's not common. More likely, they have difference. So, but in this example, they are the same, they also withhold the same. So, now let's go back to the 1099R, right, Roger? We close this one. Do you, there's a one blue out 1099 R right Roger retirement. Double click in here. Now, even the retirement is the EIN number is correct. The company's name, address, and also how much? Well, that's what how much they taught me. Take it out. The box one is how much to take it out. The box two A is how much is taxable. So in this case is all taxable. So also in box seven it matters. So what kind of the distribution you are in this situation is the normal distribution. So they are retired already. They are after fifty nine half to take this money out. No longer have a penalty. But if you are taken out before 59 and a half, yes or and also don't apply any exception, you have to choose one and that's penalty. So this time is seven. So we've done this. All the income so far, we've done it. There's one more thing we need to do is they show a house. When they hit retirement, they guess maybe the kids all growing up, they, you know, they want to show the old house which they bought it a long time ago. Look here, this is the house they bought it. Long time ago, 1985, maybe before some of you born. Now, and then there was 90K. But there, let us show at 240k. Okay. Well, if you stay in California, most of the property is a more higher, but in this example, it's in Arizona. Okay. So, is tab number two income in the right hand? Do you see uh, there's the one home and then blue out the two of them? So, I need to delete one of them. I probably using some example to do it. So let me delete them first. Delete it. 
I also delete all of them. So I hit OK. So now it's clean. So in here, so they belong to both of them to join. The first is when they bought it. Okay, when they bought it. 01, 02, 1985. The day they sold it, 06, 01, where you can find those numbers, the closing statement. But sometimes when the too long, they may not have a closing statement, you can go online. Sometimes you can find it. The purchase prices. 90k. So they have some legal fee right here for a, as you can see, right? 400. They also have sorry, one dot one k in here. What else they have? Not much in there. Okay. There's a selling expenses. Okay. There's selling expenses. Okay. Like here. Selling prices, two for one. Selling expenses like include commission as well as other expenses inside the closing statement. Now, as far as all the income and expenses, we're done input. Now, we're going in to see whether or not they qualify the section 121 exclusion. What the section 121, do you see? Scroll down a little bit here. I, I tap it down here. Yeah, on top of it, right now it's calculate section 121 exclusion. It says is when you show the house, you can't bet the last five years. It doesn't matter how long you have been owning the houses, but it counts from the day you showed it, can't bet for five years. In this last most recent five years, um, which means it's 365 times five, that's 1,825 days. Do they own it? Yes, in this case, yes, they own it. And then, do they use as a primary resident and live there as a primary resident? You can live there as a primary resident. You can also live there as a second home. The second home does not have that exclusion. The second home, the mortgage interest property tax could deductible, yet you won't have that up to 250K per person exclusion. So in this situation, yes, they are. Okay, so since they have not been rented out, they have not been doing anything, they have not been using the business, none of the, the other things apply on the left side. Now we go to right side. The right side, we we want to carry this uh, to the um, schedule D and show it up there. Now, force exclusion or losses adjustment to be print. So it will show it up in the 89.49, but it shows what is so involved, what is the cost basis, what is the gain, and what is the exclusion amount. But you won't be taxed though. That's a good thing. So now we input everything in here. So now we go into view. Before we view, I am going to harvest. Uh, they don't have in here. I was using this example to add a lot of other things. So let me delete other things first. In this example, that's all we have. 
And then we also need to be put in like the base day, 12, 15, 20, 23. Uh, the code for my company for e filing ping. Okay, now let me view it at this moment. Now, when we view it, we green check marks every single number and letters. By doing this way, you are very sure it's correct. That's why this one just say the state software is not available. So now, as you can see right now, we go back to the original. Taxpayer, spouse. You remember I just said taxpayer, I did not say husband or wife because it's their option to either put husband or wife as a taxpayer. More often, most of the taxpayer husband on the, as a taxpayer, but there are also some wife as a taxpayer. It's their own choices. And both are okay. But it's not suggesting you flip flop around because inside the IRS, they're using the taxpayers so so as an account to keep track of everything and then you flip flop around and then there will be two account there of course even though the primary taxpayer so so is there the spouse name so so is also there but they are easier so the personal information is correct and then the next thing is 1099R. The actual 1099R looks like this on the right side. It doesn't look like the left side. Okay. So since you have similar like that, so it's easy, right? Look at the information and check it every single thing accordingly, right? Check it at every single box. There's a number and letter there. Oh, as you can see, do you see California? So we need to go back to change it. Well, because I was using State of California address. So in here, all you need to do is right here. It was belong to husband or to the taxpayer. So I just switch purposely switch the spouse and go back to the taxpayer and the system will pop back. And vice versa for social security. I probably have to do the same thing like look in here. I probably flip, flip back, the system will generate right. And go to the next one. I flip this one. You don't have to do it all the time like that. It's just because I was using the state of California address. You train the state tax return. This software, the state tax software is not available uh, for 2023 yet. They will be released in January. So we only train for photo. So this is good. So now the next one is the retirement. Well, they happen to have both are the same. They also not only they receive the same amount, but they also withhold the same amount. Okay. So now, as far as the Social Security and the 1099R, we're done. And then we go to the house that we showed. It. This is a men's home. This the day. This post prices. Now, this one, now, how do you get this number right? Well, this number was coming from all the above. Let me see, it is. It's 90K plus this 400, plus this 1,000, plus this 15K altogether. 
and get to here. Okay. And then you're supposed to be have 133 K and 600 again, but they're all excluded. So this is the an example like match us. Any questions for me right now? For today's classes. I finished, believe me or not, I finished the training of today. We learned everything. That's all we learned. Look, we're done. Now, any questions? No. No question, are you sure? Okay, now, let me change the scenario. Let me change it like summer, like state of California houses. Let's say they, they are living in the state, uh, state of California in the Bay Area. They bought it, even though long time ago, they bought 90K, but in the 70, okay? But like now, it's not surprised will be even 2 million or more. Okay. And I changed two scenarios. Number one is in, stay in, in the Bay Area. Number two is 10 years ago. Okay. So now let's say 1.5 million, let's say. Now, obvious, when you are 1.5 million, the Civil expenses is more than that, right? At least 4% or 6% or whatever that it is. That So 60, so let's say maybe 70 to 80K, eventually all, all together. So now, what's gonna happen though? Do they need to pay tax? Yes, do they need to pay tax? Yes. They who say do they need to pay tax? Uh, yes. If over fifty thousand. Yeah. The answer is correct. They need to pay tax. So let me show you. See, because it was in the 70 to bought it, I'm talking about in Bay Area, okay? If in 70, you bought the houses in 90K, right like now, it's not surprised to be 1.5 million, maybe even more, okay? So you gain a lot, right? You, you gain, so this is not even 200K, right? So it's 1.3 mil plus. So 1.3 mil plus, two of you can only, husband and wife, they only can get 250K, which is equal to 500K. So they have this much, 800K plus need to pay capital gain. But it's a long-term capital gain. How much they need to pay? Now watch, okay? Here's what it looks like. Capital gain come here. And then this capital can comes here. Like here. And all of a sudden there's this much. We need to pay this. 140. So 141 regular tax, but there is um uh, when you're over 250K income, you need to pay for it. And this is income, this is a tax, net investment income. So here's what you need to pay. 167 for federal, for state, 
let's say if you're in state of California, you pay approximately almost 10%, 9.9% plus. Okay, so about, let's say about 10% of how much are the 10% of this? Which is, which is 88K, right? So 88K plus this, that's what you need to pay for. Now, if they're smart enough, if they, let's say have four kids, if they have four kids and uh, they live together in the same houses it, before they bought the houses, before they sold the houses, they have to live there as a primary home. And then each and every kid will have their 250K. If also, but the thing is, more likely when when the kid growing up, they have their own family and they have their own their homes. So it's not gonna work, okay? Any more question for me? No questions. We are going to um let me let me see what the next classes. See 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 if there is any some something very simple, easy. So that way I don't have to do main hands. It's mean to be just Today is A. Number nine, let me see what, what they're talking about. It's form, income, and expenses. It's not going to be short and easy because it's not common. Not a, not a lot of people have form uh, income and expenses. They are very similar like Schedule C, but they are different kind. Okay, they're different kind. They are like, they have their form, they have their rent, and if they form, they're doing form business, it's Schedule F. So it's not going to be, let me see. Here's what they looks like when they finish. I'm talking about next classes. This W two, and then that's not what the man need. You know. Here is what they talking about. This schedule F. See when you normal self employed schedule C, and schedule F, and then you have very similar like schedule C though. But you just have different kind of the form revenue in a different way report, and then also all different kind of delay expenses, and they also sub the self and rent tax. What's the date? What time is it right now? And we're only ten minutes. I don't think we, I, I don't think we should go quick to get this one in 10, 15 minutes to, to get it done. This is important because it's not very often you learn, you learn it. Tomorrow we teach this, okay? I'll let you guys to finish early today if you don't have any question for me. Any questions? Any question? I don't have any questions. Thank you How very much. This? No, no, I'm how about this? Leave. Let me let, let me use this 10 minutes. Let me create an example with this. 
now we are out of the original practice exam number eight. Now I'm going to put all different kind of situation in this test return of up to date what we learned. Okay. So now they are husband and wife. Let's first let's change their age. Let's change them, make them young. Okay. So now they're not retired. They are 30, they are in their 30s. So when they're in their 30, there are two kids, okay? Let's say just one kid, easy, make life easier. Okay, one kid. Okay. Smart kid. Okay. Four, five, six. Make up this one. Let's say Shan. One. Um, da, 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 da. And about that. They've been like eight years. Eight years old. Okay. So, the, what are we dependent on? Victoria, do we need to do anything in, in this, for this kid? What does anything means? Anything I need to do. Um, the answer is yes. Yes. Where? Qualifying child care expense. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Let's let's say assuming they they spend in state of California, let's say a thousand bucks per month. Okay. Uh-huh. Let's say they go to they they go to go go to the places, the EA number, this is the EA number. Take care. Okay. Mm. Let's say you own a daycare with the corporation. So this kid go to your places. Okay. One, two, three, two. Uh, let's say it doesn't matter what state it is, but I think he was in Arizona, right? Mm -hmm. I think. What you call is supposed to, I forget. I forget the zip code, but you can. But you have to be in the same state. Because otherwise, it doesn't make sense for this tax return. So, in here, let's say, assuming they're, they're, they're also they care in the same zip code. Just for convenience, okay. Not necessarily always done like that, but let's say. Mm -hmm. I'm making up numbers. So now we've done this. We done the kid. My question to you: Anything I need to do in here? The answer is yes. Where? Anyone knows it? It doesn't need. Doesn't have to be only material. This is a quiz time. Month in home. Uh, it's already there. Twelve months. Not in this screen in here like here due diligence there's a second tab on the top 
Like yeah, you see it? Like yeah. You gotta do this. If you don't do this, you're not gonna get credit. Okay. Let's say if they I purpose don't do it. Now I make up another let's say the taxpayer. Mm -hmm. At the company, let's say they happen to be in the same zip code, or if you want to just make it up. Now, assuming uh, they are making. 40k let's say they put 6k in here 15 percent so this is happened now the wife uh is not listening w2 income they have self-employed they're self-employed Realtor, let's say, just for example, okay? That's, that's, that's for saying. So now, uh, let's say they make a, they make a gross 100K. And then you have all different kinds of expenses, right? And doing some advertisements, but probably, he did five to six K, for example. We need to use a car for for the business, right? We also have other car use it. Now let's say. Hmm. Wife is pretty very active using a lot of car to take the customer to see houses, all things. So let's say in the first so in here they spend like for twenty thousand miles. Now let's say we just use the mileage. To use it. But in a real situation, we don't use even number like this. Okay. We don't because when I see you like this, you look like you just guesstimate it. More likely in a real situation, you'll be like something like that, right? Now She also hire somebody who help her, help her, and he also issue a ten ninety nine for let's say doing some contract work for for her. Let's say she pays like five thousand. Business have a business insurance, let's say it costs like about 600, for example. We don't have this. When, um, they have legal and professional fee, let's say the lawyer or the CPA or another professional, maybe they spend another 1,250. The office, let's say, it spends about two thousand six hundred eighty-nine. Just for example, they don't have this. Now, if they rent an office, they will put it in here. If they rent a car, 
they could put in here. But if you use a mileage, you cannot do those both. Okay. Mm -hmm. You rent some copy machine or some other thing, equipment, you can put in here as well. Some repair and maintenance. Let's say they put in about 452. Supplies. Let's let's say they put in half the supplies about here and there, 785. They put some license, need to get it. So they do some traveling for the business. Okay. Maybe get some updated uh, uh, training. Get some business meal entertainment. Uh, some utility, it may need to use it. Okay. So in this situation, the utility could be something for the business to use it. Okay. did not hire somebody. So if there's another expenses you need to put in here. Now, let's say you did not have any business and that uh, doesn't have any office rent, it used its home, personal home as a home office, schedule C right here. Let's say they put the house was um I say it, it have a room exclusively uh 250 square foot the whole house let's say is a quite big is a let's say it's about 2500 square foot that means it's used about 10 percent of it so now the mortgage if the whole house mortgage if i put in here the 10% will go to like that. In here, let's say, this is a mortgage, property tax, the whole house. No, let's say, insurance. Um, let's say no rent, maybe some repair and maintenance to keep out the office and from the, now in this situation, this one is crucially for the business. Oh, we, we already put it in, uh, yeah. But if you're using the home office exclusively, you just fix it for the office, home office. Let's say you're using like, you do it 560. The UG, huh? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Now, let's say this is the whole utility for the whole house. If there's any other things. Now, in this situation, what is going to happen? Are we also let the system carry the other portion to the schedule A. Now, by doing this way, what can happen? The 100,000 is a gross revenue. It's like no more than the 1099. You see that. And then minus all the expenses in schedule C. Let me show you all the detail. Right? The home manager. So assuming all those are the business expenses. that the client provided. So this is the net income 
after the ordinary expenses, exclude the home office. The home office expenses in line 30. So the net income is this. So how, where is this number comes from? Is another form right here. You know, in state of California, the market is huge, right? So you, you got a market. That's how you get the number from. And this will go to your Schedule A and then Schedule C. So you will tax on line 31, 58K413. This is come to here. And then this number come to here. And right here. Now, let's change in, let's say, in this situation, Let's say they bought the house um, 10 years ago. At 400K, the house doubled. In this situation, eight hundred minus four hundred, it makes less than four hundred k because there's a zero expenses. Two of them have total of five hundred k. It's cruising, so they can sell these houses, walk out, no tax for the house or so on. I change the prices to 800K. Like that. So this is a good sell. You don't need to do So you can walk out, walk away. We have 368K tax free. So now this one, schedule C, go to schedule one and go to this. So now, you have all the income. So you're not going to have a social security because when you're not retired yet, right? So those two are not applied to them. Let me just do zero. Normally when you, want, when you try to change things, do it this way. Look, cut, double click in here. And then you put the neck, next next line naked, so offset each other. So next time when you come here, just delete this number. Now it's zero. So you don't have to recreate everything. See look. Minus. So that I get rid of one. Place down. So I get rid of the other one. Like this. Also, in this situation, they normally do not take the money out at the age of 39 for their retirement. If they do, they will be number one. They, they just show the houses. Normally, they don't need to do this process. Let's say if they do, what is going to happen? There will be a penalty. There will be a penalty on top of income tax.
So in here, okay, here, yeah. the income tax, normal income tax, and the kid get 2000 and then a child dependent care minus this. Now this line schedule two, minus, let it go to schedule two. This is self-employment tax. Do you see line A? The line A, if you take the 12K out before 59 and a half, you will get 10% penalty on top of regular tax. Not a good deal. Huh? So you try to um, wait until 59 and a half. Assuming they did not take it. Now, they also, this time, they, they sold old houses, which primary use uh, was a primary home, and they become smarter. They bought a two unit duplex. One unit is using living as a primary home, and one unit is right now. So what can happen? You sold the houses, it's taken care of it. Let's say have a, they bought the houses at one million, let's say. Okay. And then we took prep. So half a million each. So schedule E one. Okay, fifty percent. Uh okay. Fifty percent. So the two percent. So you can fifty percent of the whole thing, or you can actually, uh, you have a number. Let's say a number. Uh, if you say uh, two yellow one A is the rental unit, two yellow one B is the primary home. Let's say, for example, like that, and then men strip. Okay. I like to be like that, put it in here. And then I also put this one in here. So that make it very easy to do it. So now we continue using the Arizona. Okay. The Arizona was like, is it two? The zip code is like, I forget our zip code. Let's say they stay in the same zip code. Okay. They love the prices so much. But what can happen? Here's what can happen. So in this situation, it's multi-unit family. Okay. They spend a lot of time to fix it up and do this. Let's say this is the old house and do it and get ready for them to uh to rent it out to spend those time to qualify as a QBI. <clears throat> so what's gonna happen? Schedule E there here. Mm, they rent it out, let's say 180 days. So let's say the 180 days. Okay. So let's say six months, okay? Let's say six months, each month is, uh, let's say 4K. And six, look at this, surrender income, okay? 
So the unit, they rent it out. Okay, now. And then in here, you have to be, you can put 50% in here. Let's say this whole house, okay, the 50% is rented and the 50% is used as a primary home. So now in here, the insurance, let's say for the whole, two, whole house is 2000 The mortgage interest. Let's say in this situation, they put in 700, 700. Let's say this is the mortgage interest for the whole house. Now they spend and they do they buy a lot of material to do this. Property tax, let's say one million. Oh, but half a year though. Mm -mm. Just a half a year. Now, utility, for example. Now, you may do in, this is something that in the whole house does it, but they also in some repair and for surprise for the rental unit only. Those for the whole house include the rental unit, but on top of it, you also fix this, the things for the rental unit. You spend money on it. Now, let's say, not only that, you smart, you issue 1099 for the people who uh, you pay them more than six hundred dollars six hundred or more okay so what else we need to do we need to do depreciation right rent I make up the, the, the address. What it was like two year one? Is it two year one A? Mention it something like that. Now, assuming you bought it like this. Now, this is a net 50% of it. Just for the rental portion of it. So, they are half a million for each unit. Inside that, let's say you have this much as a building, and then you have this much as a land. Depends. You have to look in for your property tax bill to get a percentage, just for illustration purpose. Oh yeah, this one is 27 and a half. Now, remember, you we put in half a year. It kind of like sold the houses before. After they sold the house, they bought a new house. Okay, now let's see what the rental property is going to come out to. Here's yeah, the rental property.
negative, obvious. So you end up a little bit negative. And this negative, so the depreciation comes to here. Where is the depreciation line? That's how you get to it. So what is the neg a little bit negative go to schedule one like here? They all say each other. And then um, we bring it back to schedule eight, but it's not enough because then mortgage interest because they have a half a year. Well, I haven't input the old houses mortgage interest and property tax when as I input in that before they sold it, it probably ends up using schedule A. So that's pretty much we learned the most part of it. Now let's say also they have an interest income. Let's say they have Bank of America. Let's say they have 525 interest. Now, they also have some dividend. Mm. Let's say if they have this much ordinary dividend, outside, inside of that, there's this much ordinary dividend. They also have this much capital gain distribution. What capital gain distribution is, for example, you buy mutual fund, they do a sell and net gain and you share with it. You do not show any mutual fund, but yet you share it again. You need to report the name. So now, this is going to associate you in the market, in the Schedule B, interest and dividend. Why well, confuse you guys? This is all we have been learning already. I just review for you. Is it Schedule B right here? Is it interesting from the dividend? If the ordinary and qualified is like here. Um the capital gain distribution straight up in here. So last not least, if we show start right here. Right here. So, um, let's say E trade. You use E trade account to do the various 12, 31, 23. You show at, let's say, five, two, five, zero. Your cost basis was 400, 4,000. So, it's short term. They put it in the 399. That's pretty much we learned the most of it besides depreciation. Okay. Any any more questions for me? If not, I'm gonna finish today's classes. I just try to review, spend today's we since we today have a little bit of time, so I kind of like reviews, kind of all in one, all together. See, it, this is Schedule D when you show the stuff. Mm -hmm. like so, it's learnable, right? It's not, it's not that difficult. Especially when you have an opportunity, have a software to practice, you also go to YouTube to watch it. You practice. Practice makes perfect. That's what makes it. Okay. So in the normal, this kind of situation, you need, they need to pay tax. 
See, look, and this is what this one at the very first one, assuming the last year they only have 3,000 tax in here, they only have 500 for state of California. What are you going to do? Here's what you're going to you get. Oh, okay. Let's say if you only did this. I want to show you the penalty. You pay too little at withholding. You end up when you file tax return, besides pay tax, you also need to pay penalty. The rule is if you pay a hundred percent of last year tax. On 90% of current year tax, you are not going to pay penalty. A chance of withholding. It ends up pays a lot of money. So the, do you see the penalty? Like, okay. So thank you very much. Have a great evening. Bye. Thank you, Guan Kui Ji Si. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you.